What is good you guys? It's Dayton and today I'm off. Lexi's working. There's nothing to do So I decided I'm just gonna pull out my camera and record and whatever happens happens So I'm gonna take you on for the journey. Let's do it real quick you guys before I even go out and search Just want to give you a little bit of an update uh, I just got a root canal done the other day and my tooth has been just absolutely killing me the last week and a half so it got to the point that it was so bad that I hadn't even slept in like a super long time. So it feels really good to get that done. Um, other than that, man, I've just been enjoying life summertime here. So I've been trying to get out and do as much as I can um, rather than stay cooped up here. So that's just a little bit of an update, man. Like I said in my last video, a couple of videos ago, like Lexi's uh, grandpa passed away. But we just had a lot of stuff going on, man. I haven't had a crazy amount of motivation. To make videos and stuff like that but it's not like i'm sad or nothing about it but this is just a little update i just wanted to say we talked about how i'm a big car guy always been a car guy always been a sports guy one thing that a lot of people didn't know about me is i'm a coin i collect coins i'm a big coin collector i like to collect things coins are a cheap easy hobby um but i collect coins a lot so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fill up these little penny rolls i'm gonna go re replace them and get some new penny rolls maybe we can find some cool old pennies or something like that today I know that sounds stupid, but it is something that I do. So that's just a little bit of an update. All right, you guys, since I don't have any real set plans today, I'm just gonna drive around. Uh, shout out to my guy, Trav Tries. I saw him pop up on my feed earlier and he was, uh, they were showing the new Coke Zero. Uh, the new Coke Zero and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna drive around, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna try to find the new Coke Zero. I already love regular Coke Zero and if this one's better than that, I really gotta try it. So that's what we're gonna go out for. Um, I might stop by one of our local soda shops. Um, it's kind of a Utah thing. We'll have to talk about that a little bit more later, but I think that's something we're gonna do. So let's do it, you guys. Well, you guys, I for sure thought they'd have them here, but they don't, it looks like. Well, you guys, so. no luck at my first stop. I was able to get some pennies, though. Um, the only problem is I'm pretty sure all these pennies look like they're brand new, so probably won't find anything too cool in these pennies, but it's worth a shot, so. Here's another thing I thought I'd just add for shit day and likes. I'm a basketball card collector. I kind of talked about that a little earlier, but here's just a couple basketball cards. I have a whole bunch. I literally have hundreds, but here's just a couple of some of my favorite ones. Just to give you an idea of what I do. This is a guy, Damian Lillard, autograph. You guys already know, like, Damian played uh, college here in Utah just down the road from where I live, so this is one of my favorite ones. Um, we got the LeBron James autograph in the gold ink down there. Absolutely awesome card. My favorite card. The King Kobe Bryant autograph. That card is worth a lot of money now. I bought it for like a couple hundred bucks and now it's like two grand. And then last but not least, my, my other favorite card, Donovan Mitchell, rookie, dual patch ball piece autograph. Some of these are just some of my things. But this, I'm a collector, man. I like to I like to be busy and have little hobbies and I have a whole bunch of them and collecting is one of them. So coins, this, um, shoes, everything. So there's a little good, bit of a glimpse right there. I guess while I'm sitting here, let me just uh, do a little bit of an update. I got banned again on TikTok for an entire week for reacting to a Dr. Pimple Popper TikTok video. Literally the entire video, I just watched her pop a pimple and I go, ew, and they took it down for violent and graphic content. So honestly, little rant, screw TikTok. Honestly, screw TikTok. This is the second time I've saying screw TikTok this time, man. So it's back to YouTube. I hope you guys like me because I'll probably be posting here a little bit more often. But anyway, little rant update. All right, you guys, next stop is this little place called Twisted Sugar right here on the corner. Snack King Cole, this is a shout out to you, man. This is basically the competitor to Crumble. But let me give you a little bit more of an update. So I don't know why, but um, in Utah, something that's very well known and very popular out here in Utah is soda, soda shops. Basically, they just have uh, drinks with different flavors, sodas and everything like that. And it's really, really big here. And I'm sure these places exist outside of Utah, but in Utah, it's like a, the crave. Like we go here more than we go to Starbucks or coffee. Maybe that's a Mormon thing. I'm not 100% sure why it's so popular here, but it is super, super popular here. So I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna grab a drink. I'm gonna grab a cookie, have a little bit of a relaxing day, do a little bit of a review for you since I couldn't find the stupid Coke Zeros. So let's do it. All right, you guys, so to make it quick, today I got myself a drink here that's called Pixie, and I've never tried this one before. It is Coke Zero with uh, peach peach puree, mango, and cream, I believe. Something like that. It's a This sounds just super, super, super good. And the best part is this huge 32-ounce drink for only 
uh, two dollars, just over two dollars. This is crazy good price here. This is why we crave it here in Utah. But let's go ahead and try. Let's see if it's any good. Oh wow! I don't know what it is with me and creamy sodas. They have one called like a like a red cream, and it has like red cream soda with cream in it, and it's just oh man, that is phenomenal. And now, snacking cold is for you. On this the is the Oreo cream cookie for only two dollars. And look how big this cookie is. This cookie is no joke. This is like a uh, crumble comparison, but this is only like two bucks, you guys. So let's go ahead and try this. I've never had this one, so I'm just excited to try it. These are baked fresh every time, so let's check this out. Whew. Look at this, yo. Look at this Oreo cream cookie down the half. That was great. Wow. It's twisted sugar, places like this, Utah for some reason, sodas and cookies go hand in hand. Dynamic duo. So good, you guys. Hey, oh, hey, okay. I know I'll be hey, oh, hey, okay. Hey. All right, you guys, so I just got home, got my Twisted Sugar drink, my cookie. I got some new pennies, so this is what I wanted to go through real quick. But I wanna say on the way here, I saw that they're going to do the uh, Weber County Fair is today. So I might go to that tonight, and then maybe we can vlog some of that, so stay tuned. But I'm worried about these pennies, y'all. Basically, every one of these looks like brand new pennies on either side. So I might just got literally pennies. But there's one roll, one roll that has a penny from the 70s. So there's a chance we get something cool in here. We're gonna find out if I find anything. Well, well you guys, not too bad. This first roll, which is basically all new pennies, had randomly in it a 1958 Canadian penny, which this is not gonna focus, is it? No, it's not. But anyway, Canadian penny from 1958 is in here. So if this was a normal penny, this would have been a wheat penny. It has a small head. So. That's a pretty good find. Let's go on. Here's a real quick look at that 1958 Canadian, by the way. Small head. Nice. Wow, you guys, I'm surprised with these new rolls. No crap, I just found a 1953 a D wheat penny. So I'll show you a close up on that one. Kind of crazy that in a roll of mostly brand new pennies, you get this 1953 wheat penny. That's awesome. All right, you guys, roll number three. I've had one good thing in every roll. Another Canadian penny from 1979. I'll do a close-up. 1979 Canadian. Boom. All right, you guys, so not much after that, but we did get a few copper cents. And, of course, the two Canadians and the wheat penny. And then some super good-looking copper cents. This one's 86, but it's in just super good shape. That 72 right here is probably one of the nicest strikes I've ever seen, ever in like super crazy good shape. So overall, with getting basically brand new coins, that was a crazy, crazy hunt, so I'm excited. That's the winning watermelon, fellas. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and check out in here. Ha <laughs> Psych. All right, you guys, and that's going to do it. The fair was absolutely awesome. We actually got to go in and Listen to three comedians perform and all of them were awesome. They actually got me laughing pretty good and that's pretty hard to do sometimes. So that's pretty awesome. Um, it was a really, really good time. We actually picked up something kind of cool. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. 
But since I saw it here, it was a good price. I just, I snatched it. But check this out, yo. The little mini Nintendos that come loaded with 620 games. So I'm really excited to get this plugged in and play this. This actually just sounds cool. So that's just a little thing that happened. We got some Hawaiian barbecue. It was a really good time. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you for coming on this day with nature. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace.